Nigel, how, how would you describe yourself as, as a player right now? Um, I'll describe myself as a, you know, all around player, especially coming in, um, to this team. I feel like, um, that everything that I do is needed, um, coming from the offense end and defense end and being a leader, even though being very young, I feel like that, um, you know, with the previous experiences of playing on really good teams that I feel like while I could bring some of those ways onto this team, just being able to, you know, be part of a leader, even though I'm, I'm kind of young within that how how important do you feel like scoring the ball for this team is going to be for you personally um I feel like um the whole team can really score I mean there's not really a scoring problem that we're going to find but I'm definitely you know I'm definitely a scorer that that can you know be used in part of our offenses especially you know with all the talent that we have on the team uh, I feel like that you know anybody can at any given night can you know put up some pretty good numbers um and I just feel like you know uh, I can get I can definitely score when it's needed and then when it's not needed I can definitely do all the other things and all the other little things that can help us win hey Nigel would you call yourself more of a true point guard or more of a kind of a dual threat guard um I would call myself a true point guard um, I mean, I, I'm definitely able to do everything that a point guard is supposed to and everything that's needed um, on the court. And especially, you know, being able to score, shoot, get assists, even rebound at my size and play defense really well. Um, I just feel like that's just a true point guard aspect and be able to lead on the court as well. Do you feel like you fit in with these guys really well already? Yeah, I feel like the chemistry is already there. Um, I feel like we've been playing together a lot longer than it's been. You know, we only had, I don't know, 15, 16 practices. I feel like we've been, you know, together a couple of years already. I, I asked Montavious this, but what, what was the team's reaction when you guys saw that you were picked last in the preseason Big 12 poll? Um, you know, everybody sees it. The whole team see it. All the coaches seen it. Um, it just gives us extra fuel to the fire. I mean, you know, everybody's doubting. So, I mean, what do you, we're expected to be last. So that kind of, you know, pushes us to go harder every day. The days that we don't want to practice, the days that we don't want to lift weights, it just gives that extra fuel and motivation to, to do it and go harder at it. Thanks, Nigel. Appreciate it. Yep. Hey, Nigel, um, I'm curious what your relationship like uh, is like with uh, Rudy Williams. Um, since he's kind of an older guy coming from JUCO, what have you kind of gotten, you know, what have you learned from him in his game? Man, me and Rudy's relationship is actually really well. Um, you know, things we can pick up from each other. Um, we, I just kind of broke up there. Um, things we can pick up from each other. Um, I'm sorry. Here we go. Uh, things we can pick up from each other, like um, on the court. You know, he's the older guy, so he's kind of been through, you know, the college experience. Um, so, uh, like, on the, we push each other every day. Um, like, I coming in, he was kind of more, you know, experienced with the movement and things like that. So I kind of watched and learned some things from him. Um, he kind of pushes me every day, offensively and defensively. So it kind of makes each other better. We kind of contradict off each other, each other's game. And I feel like that'll be, you know, a double threat for when we you know, when games start. And I understand uh, K-State's been recruiting C.J. Gunn. Uh, he's a guy you've known for pretty much your whole childhood. How cool is that to see and, and to be a part of that? Uh, it's really good. You know, I'm always – any guys that I know that's definitely getting recruited by the school that I'm at, I'm always pushing towards them, you know, giving, you know, a little voice in their ear, you know, that, we're, that we really want them here. And it feels really good, you know, to have people that's really close to you that you know really well getting recruited by the same school as you. And, you know, it would be really well to have him here with us. Yeah, I got another one for you, Nigel. What was it about uh, the way K-State recruited you or just this place in general that, that made you believe that coming here was the right place? I remember when you committed, it was the summer, and Bruce was kind of shocked that you did it so early. What made you pull the trigger? Uh, I could just tell by the feeling that I had that I didn't have anywhere else. Um, even though it was really far from home, I felt like this was definitely the place for me. 
all the facilities, all the players and all the coaches. I just feel like this is like a home for me. Um, I feel like we had a chance to be really good. I feel like I had a chance to be really good here. And um, I just felt like I knew I had to make the decision and I wanted to be the first one to do it. And I kind of shocked everybody, my parents and all. And But I'm really happy with the decision that I made. And uh, I want to get your perspective on this. All the other guys said that uh, the big guys in your team right now, like Casey and Davion, are really good finishers. They're scoring, their shooting percentage is real high. Uh, is that what you've noticed? And I guess, how do you approach that when you get, do you see guys finishing in the paint? How much easier is that for you to get them the ball? And these, these two guys are, you know, impressing me a lot. Um, they battle every day, you know. Um, Casey's doing really well finishing inside the paint. That kind of makes my job easier. Just being able to feed him. Um, get the ball into him and then, you know, expecting a good assist. Um, both of them really athletic. So, you know, it kind of makes it easier for me coming off the screen. If they help too much, I can easily throw, to, throw a oop to them and they'll both go get the ball. And, you know, it kind of makes the job easier for us guards, um, especially with their size, their screening ability, and then their ability to be able to move and their their hands, their catching ability is really well. And I haven't seen that out of many big men, and I'm really impressed by it. Yeah, Nigel, I uh, was wondering, also, you, you talked about being a, a true point guard, but also you're a pretty good shooter. Do you, you see situations where you'll have two, two of you point guards in the game and you maybe play off the ball a little bit more? Uh, I do. I do see that um, that ability being able to happen, maybe um, playing more of a guard-heavy team um, that we could be on the court at the same time, playing with each other and contradicting off each other. Um, I also do see in being able to, um, like, even – Mike or DG being able to bring the ball up and I can come off, I can come off the ball. Like I don't have to bring the ball up every time, especially with their ball handling abilities, even Monty bringing the ball up at times, um, just being able to play faster, you know, being able to move into the offense quicker. And I just feel like um, that would be my, more opportunities to play off the ball. And then even when we have to settle down there, I can go get the ball and you know, be a true point guard. Any other questions for Nigel Pack? Hey, hey, Nigel, I, I got a couple for you. Uh, I guess my first one is, is there a player uh, who you've somewhat modeled uh, your game after? Um, and if not, is there someone uh, either playing college right now or in the NBA who you tell people if they haven't seen you play, uh, I think my game is pretty similar to his? Um, somebody I like to model my game that I'm really a big fan of and – I watch a lot um, as Damian Lillard, um, even though he's kind of more blown up more of last year or this year, you could say, I've been kind of watching him for a few years now. Um, I just like his pace and his, you know, um, how he, you know, um, his emotions don't really get to him in the game. And that's how I kind of see myself um, and his, his movement and things like that kind of being, you know, not really the biggest point guard in the league, kind of not more of like a rush, rush book size. So it kind of fits more in my game as well. Um, just his ability to shoot the ball, come off the ball, and, you know, his scoring ability just is very impressive to me. And I just try to pick um, picks of his game, you know, add into mine. But there's really nobody in particular I just focus on. I, I usually watch a lot of people and try to take every some bits and pieces of the, each person's game put into my own. And, and I guess I noticed since you got on the call, uh, you know, the praises you got there on the wall behind you, could, could you kind of – Explain that just a little bit, kind of what went into you getting those. Um, my mom actually got them for me when she came. Um, I didn't really decorate my room at all. My <laughs> mom did it. So she just put work hard and says stay humble. And those are really two big things. And then she got a couple more. Uh, if I can flip my camera. Um, she got um, a couple quotes. It's not, it says not, it's not how big you are, it's how big you play. Um, that kind of fits me really well. Not really the biggest guy on the court, but I'm going to play with the most heart. Um, it says practice like a champion. That really hits a lot, um, especially the days that you don't want to practice. Kind of gives me extra motivation. And the last one, winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. And I feel like that fits in with us, especially this year. Um, we're known to be winners. Um, we've fallen before, but we're not going to quit and we're never going to give up. And I feel like that would come in very handy with us this year. <laughs> 